Hey guys, Sean here, and I came across a forum post on nano-reef.com, and uh, this is a post by AJ McKay, and he or she came up with an idea for an aquarium spot cleaning device that's cheap and easy. So um, they used a water bottle with some tubing, uh, flexible tubing, and a hard uh, tube. And um, they gave some uh, simple directions on how to put it all together uh, to get some suction going. Um, they even have a YouTube um, video up, which I'll link uh, in this video. And I really like the idea. So I, I actually went shopping for some items at Target and at the LFS. Uh, I actually went with uh, Petco. And what we have here is we have some Fluval C epoxy. I already had that for some other projects. I've got some Loctite from the hardware store, super glue. I've got the uh, ball mason jar sip and straw lids. Comes with uh, four straws and two lids. Allows you to drink and enjoy lemonade. Do the straw with a bleeding cap which is key here to uh, what we're going to be doing and I got some um, extra parts I got a check valve and <clears throat> the air control kit off the shelf at the local Petco and I'm using a ball mason jar the ball mason jar is very handy because it does have uh, some measured increments on the side so you can see um, how much you're vacuuming out for uh, water replacement later so that will come in handy so uh, I'm gonna put a device together uh, based on AJ McKay's uh, instructions and I'm gonna give you uh, the finished product in the next video thank you for watching hey guys this is Sean with uh, day 30 Project Pico tank and uh, the uh, pack pack, uh, which is a device as mentioned in the previous video. So uh, I'm going to do a quick water test uh, result. So um, you can see here the pH values. I actually got the flash turned on here. Uh, pH value is about 7.8 to 8.0. The ammonia level is sitting at, I'd say, zero. Nitride is very low. Uh, it's 0.25 or less. And uh, nitrate looks to be uh, 20 ppm. Um, it looks a little darker in the, in the camera here. Um, but it is 20 ppm when held up to the proper light. Um, so let's go ahead and show you the device. As you can see on the tank, I've got some um, algae bloom, which I'll be cleaning up here shortly. Uh, you can see the trail from the snail, snail trail. <laughs> and uh, here's the device. So what I've done here is I've stacked uh, two of the straws out of the kit I've got a check valve at the top I did put some um, super glue at the top but it's not holding it very well but the check valve does slide uh, nice and snug into the straw and then I put another check valve on the other side to um, give two check valves and I did use some epoxy to kind of hold the straw in there uh, airtight And I've got the straw suspended a little bit. So, and I, I used a four foot length of tubing. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this thing going according to the instructions after I clean up the glass and start vacuuming out uh, the tank. So please watch the next video. Thanks. Alright guys, Sean here, I'm back and I've stumped myself. 
with the uh, device for now. So <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and post a quick 30 day update on where the tank is. I did clean up the algae uh, earlier. Uh, but I'm unable to get the pack back to work at this time. I'm going to just do a little bit more um, brainstorming to see what I can do to get it going. Um, but just wanted to show you guys some some coral that's in the uh, 2.6 gallon Project Pico. Just playing around with the exposure here. I've got another hard coral there. You can kind of kind of see it, but not really. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the white light on so you can see what's going on a little bit better. All right. So I kind of got a dirty screen here, dirty glass, but. You can kind of see that the algae has come back a little bit on the sides. All the sexies are hanging out up front. There's four right there. There's five. And six and seven are around here somewhere. There's six. Not sure where number seven is. But yeah, that's um, kind of where the tank is right now. It's uh, doing some of its um, final algae stage blooming. And I believe that the tank has fully cycled um, at this juncture uh, after 30 days. So um, check back for more updates later. And uh, thank you for... Uh, Checking out my video.